Hey there ladies and gents, welcome back to the vlog. My name is Drew and this is a candle. It is called Live, Love and Leaves and it smells like, yeah, living, loving and leaving. Actually, oh, that I didn't think that was gonna work out, but leaving is actually a word. But yeah, it smells like live, love and leaves. So as you know, I always have to start off a video with some random object on my desk. I just had some delicious Chick-fil-A, and I'm so stoked to make some videos now. I don't know, I know some of you guys are from out of the United States. I don't know if you guys have Chick-fil-A in Europe or in the East, but if you don't, and you ever are in the States, definitely make a trip to Chick-fil-A because their chicken is delicious. Today's episode is going to be another episode of Ask Drew Anything, where I answer your questions about computer science or whatever other things you ask me about. Today's question comes from a Mr. Brian Schills who says, I'm planning on taking programming in my senior year of high school. If I decide I like programming, I will do that for a job. Perhaps I would get a CS degree, but I'm interested in what computer science is the study of, what computers can do. I'm interested in how computers work. I would enjoy writing code to make them work, but web design, any design, is not something I would love. What part of CS would be good for me? Excellent question, Brian, and it's one that I think has been asked a couple times in various comment threads on my videos and probably elsewhere as well. I think at the core of this question, there's kind of an overarching theme of where should I focus my attention with my CS coursework? With a computer science degree, there's generally like a common core curriculum that you have to take. There's like programming classes and math classes that everybody takes, but you do have the opportunity to take a couple different elective courses that really let you explore different aspects of computer science and different topical areas that you might be interested in to see if that's something that you want to focus on later in your career once you graduate. So keeping in mind the idea of these elective courses where you have maybe two or three classes within your degree plan where you can kind of explore and take courses that interest you and kind of give you a taste of more zesty topics within computer science I, could, I guess you could say or not belonging to like the core curriculum that everybody gets, kind of just what you're interested in. There's a lot, a lot of elective courses that you can take, and the list at UTD was probably 20 to 30 classes long. And obviously you take them later on in your degree plan because you can, uh, you have to have a core knowledge, or you have to kind of understand how programming works. You're not going to get thrown into like a senior level algorithms class if you don't know freshman level programming fundamentals. So they usually had some prerequisites, but these elective courses are really where you were allowed to explore and you can really kind of see how the world of computer science is mapped out. And like I said, I could go on for hours and hours about each of these classes, but I'll hit on a couple of them that you might be interested in or you might consider. So first and foremost, you actually mentioned in your comments about web design and that sort of thing. That is a class that was offered at UTD. There was like application or iOS programming or something like that. Application design, web design, that sort of thing. You can take those courses if you like. You mentioned you were interested in how computers work. So if I understand that correctly, I think you're talking a lot about how the different hardware and software components interact with each other and kind of getting close to the bare metal. That's a area of computer science known as embedded systems. So if you want to program like microcontrollers or circuit boards or PLCs, programmable logic controllers, then embedded systems is a really, really cool place to be. If you're more interested in how computers work as a system and like the different architectural levels and how operating systems works and things like that, that's more like computer architecture or you can take a course in like compiler design where you'll learn how compilers and languages work and how operating systems kind of work on a system level. And I know I took an operating systems concepts class as part of the core curriculum, but I'm, I'm sure that there are plenty of schools that kind of offer it as an elective. So if you're interested in kind of the system level view, that's a good course to take. There's some other great ones that talk about computer networking. So computer networks are systems as well and connecting computers back and forth, seeing how different computers interact. So computer networking is a good place. If you really want to get an idea of how computers can be sometimes misused, then information security classes are really great. Those teach you how systems work and some common vulnerabilities that you have to consider when you're developing software and different solutions using technologies. So now that we've talked about the sort of elective courses that you can take and giving you kind of an idea of the different specialty areas, that sort of thing. And again, I'm taking a 50,000 foot view, as they say. I, we can dive into each one of these categories separately, but 
there's kind of an overarching theme here, and that is, what do you really enjoy doing? What is it that brought you to computer science in the first place? Why did you want to get started into programming and computer science to begin with? And from reading your post, Brian, it sounds like you kind of have a good idea of what you like and what you enjoy. And you mentioned some of the things that you don't enjoy, like web design, that sort of thing. And sometimes knowing what you don't want is just as good as knowing what you do want. So inevitably, if you eliminate all the things that you don't want, what remains must be what you do want. So all that's to say, what I would recommend, Brian, and to anybody who is watching, if you're considering computer science or you're wondering what area you should focus on within computer science, I would take just the course catalog from your local university or the university where you're attending and look at the elective section of the computer science degree plan and see what classes interest you, read the course descriptions, and then go start researching, doing a little bit of Googling, seeing if it's something you'd be interested in and kind of have the introspectiveness to look inside of you and say, okay, this is something that I really enjoyed, or I got into computer science because I want to do this, or I got into computer science because I want to do that. And once you have a clear understanding of that and a clear understanding of what's offered, you can start to take courses that probably interest you and will inevitably lead you to your area of specialty and what you want to do within the world of computer science because it is so broad and you need to focus on one certain thing out of all this amazing stuff. It's hard to do. Computer science is interesting to me too. I wish I could do everything, but inevitably you kind of have to do a little prioritizing, figure out what you want to do, and do a little bit of research into what you like and what you don't like to ultimately find that perfect job for you. So Brian, thank you again so much for your question. I hope this gives you a little bit of insight or answers your question better than the comment that I wrote to you earlier. And to all of you guys out there, if you want one of your questions answered, feel free to leave it as a comment down in this video or any of the other videos, and then I will put it on the docket for consideration and see if it would be fit for a new video or a video later down the road. So that'll wrap it up for today, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, we will end in the traditional way, and that is by me saying that always remember you are wanted, you are loved, and you are appreciated. You have a special talent that nobody else has, and the world is waiting on you to bring it out. So muster a little courage, go out into the world, and change it. That's what the world's waiting on. You. Hey there, ladies and gents. Thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate you giving me a little bit of time out of your day. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, leave a thumbs down. I learn just as much from the dislikes as I do from the likes. And if you want to continue the conversation, leave a comment down below. You can talk about just about anything from cat videos on to computer science questions or whatever is weighing on your mind. And if you want to follow me on social media, I've got links to my various social medias. I would love it if we could connect on those platforms and you can keep track of me and what I've been up to outside of the YouTube realm and possibly get a sneak peek into projects that I'm working on before they air here on YouTube. Thank you so much, guys, for watching the video again, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Take it easy.